organizing this presentation today. Um, I'm here to provide you with information on the market link program that is currently available to farmers markets and farmers as well. I'm going to there turn off the subtitles, which I don't know why I saw them, but they're quite distracting. Um, all right, so here we go. Market link is a program of the National Association of Farmers Market Nutrition Programs, otherwise known as NAFMMP. This nonprofit organization was founded in the early 1990s, um, hand in hand with the inception of the Farmers Market Nutrition Programs. So the WIC Farmers Market Nutrition Program and the Seniors Farmers Market Nutrition Program. And the organization was intended as a place for all of the administrators of those programs to come together and share best practices, uh, work together, make sure that the programs are working cohesively across the country. Um, there are about 45 members, as you all may know, there is not a WIC FMMP program or a seniors FMMP program in every state. And there are a few of them in um, Indian and tribal organizations. So the, it's not a one for one um, in terms of those programs per state, but there are programs across the country. Um, MarketLink was developed in 2013 through a USDA grant in order to provide free equipment and technical assistance with accepting SNAP. Back in 2013, we developed the first and only app-based means of accepting SNAP. So previously it was on a, and still is, or can be on a big clunky brick machine. Um, but we did develop back then what was called the Mobile Market Plus application that you could have on any smart device to, to be able to accept SNAP. Um, so that was pretty revolutionary in terms of um, being able to accept SNAP in a mobile format. And our partner, Novidia Group, was the um, software provider that developed that particular app and capability. So that's a good segue into who makes up the MarketLink group. Of course, it's NAFMP, as I mentioned, that has an executive director and then representative members from each of the regions of the country that have programs. Um, the USDA Food and, Nutrition, Food and Nutrition Service, which is the group that implements SNAP across the country. And then, as I mentioned, Novidia Group, otherwise known as NDG, which is the software and equipment provider. They're based in Austin, Texas. And they created the Mobile Market Plus app, which is now um, transitioned to the Total Pay app, which includes Go and Register and some other um, options there as well. So how the program works, um, first a farmer or market takes the market link eligibility assessment to see whether or not you will qualify for the grant funding that USDA has provided for this equipment. The second is to ensure that you have a current FNS authorization. In other words, that you are approved by the Food Nutrition Service to accept SNAP, since as you can all imagine, it is a government program and they want to be sure who those payments are going to and making sure that those um, accounts are connected properly. And then you would set up your Novadia Group account, which is the account that enables the processing between the accounts. So for example, when you swipe someone's SNAP card at the market, those funds are transferred via the Novadia Group, um, the no Novadia Group processing pathway in order for that to be able to deposit into your account. And then lastly, after all of these pieces are in place, your equipment will ship and you can begin to accept SNAP at your market or um, at your farm. So these are some of the benefits of both electronic payments and the market link program itself. Um, as we all know, COVID-19 has really changed the landscape with regards to um, dealing with physical money and everyone wants to reduce all physical contact um, as much as possible while we maintain social distance and wait for vaccines to be developed. Um, but beyond that, accepting electronic payments is a means to expand your customer base. Um, less than a quarter of sales were completed in cash in 2019. So this is an area in which many farmers markets could gain some ground by ensuring that they accept electronic payments. Um, and then for the market link program specifically, um, we offer an app that you can accept SNAP and credit and debit all in the same device. So the state programs um, that you may have heard of are intended for SNAP only. So that means that you would have to have multiple pieces of equipment in order to accept SNAP and credit and debit. 
Um, for those of you that are already participating in the farmer's market nutrition programs, less than 40% of overlap exists between the customer bases, the participants in the SNAP program and the FMMP programs. So this is a huge new group of shoppers that you could potentially attract. Um, and then we are also working on other programs to be able to draw more folks to the market and provide the best rates for processing electronic payments, which I'll get more to get to more in a bit. Why are we not going forward? There we go. Um, again, just to reiterate why SNAP is an important benefit to accept. Um, it is an excellent companion program to the Farmer's Market Nutrition Program. Since Farmer's Market Nutrition Programs are only for fruits, vegetables, cut herbs, and plant starts, um, SNAP enables your vendors or your farm to also accept benefits for meat, eggs, dairy, um, other items that are likely to be at your farmer's market. There's also a huge gap in funding, or I should say difference in funding between the amount that's being put into the SNAP program versus the farmer's market nutrition programs. As you can see, there is a giant delta between the two programs and the funding that's provided by the federal government. Um, this year, 62 billion has been provided in SNAP to participants, um, and especially with pandemic EBT being issued and other forms of assistance, this is upwards of four, four point five billion dollars a month going out to participants to be spent um, hopefully with farmers and markets but um, currently as you can see less than 0.2 percent of these dollars are being spent through farmers and markets and are going to kind of the big box stores and the other large retailers so that's what we're trying to shift is to get more of those dollars into local food economies and make sure that you all have sustainable markets and farms uh, going forward so here's some Program facts on SNAP, in case you aren't aware um, or uh, aren't familiar with the program already. Um, any person who qualifies based on income and household factors is eligible to receive SNAP. It is, as the title of the program sounds, it intended to be a supplemental program. So um, the idea is that it helps get food in people's pantries. Um, you can see the list of el eligible foods there. Um, in essence, anything that is fresh and can be taken home for the family. And ineligible foods are non-food products, wine and alcohol, hot foods, and foods meant to be eaten on site. So here are the two equipment options for the Market Link program. Um, most should be eligible for the free equipment, but if that's not the case, then um, you can actually purchase the equipment as well. And I'll get into the eligibility in a little bit as well. Um, MarketLink also provides an important service of technical assistance. So we have folks working with us across the country and we can help you through every step of the process, which you can see are listed here from the eligibility assessment completion um, to getting your FNS approval, getting your SNAP retailer approval number, confirming the status of your application, setting up your equipment, even going through a mock test of your equipment before you take it to market so that you're confident it works, um, and then any other questions that you may have as you work your way through the process. Um, you can see, and I'll share this presentation as well so that you have it for reference, but you can see that you can book an appointment with our regional representatives, Tiffany and Lauren, and they can actually complete the SNAP application on your behalf. So. Um, it's been great this year. USDA has really improved the application and you're able to submit electronic versions of the necessary documentation. So Lauren and Tiffany can help you through that process and or complete it for you, um, ensuring that they have all of your information. So as I mentioned, um, well, I didn't mention before, the um, origin of MarketLink was back in 2013. Um, and since then, there have been a number of iterations of what is colloquially known as the USDA Free Equipment Grant. So over the years, there have been different uh, folks that have held the grants, uh, Farmers Market Coalition, NAFMP, um, and then a group called FTM was the most recent before the current grant. The current grant was issued in October of 2019, and here are the items that are new for this iteration of the grant funding. Um, USDA has provided a printer waiver for those who receive equipment through this grant, so that means you don't have to provide a printed receipt, which is a SNAP regulation currently. Um, so Novidia Group is now a third-party processor, so they can process SNAP directly, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a minute. 
Um, the new app is called Total Pay Go. So for those of you that may have worked with Mobile Market Plus before, it is now called Total Pay Go. And the reason for that is Square is now incorporated as an option for credit and debit processing directly through the Total Pay Go app. Uh, just to reiterate, the printer waiver um, is for those who've received equipment through this grant. Um, and if you already have equipment, you must continue to provide a printed receipt. And then um, USDA's goal is actually to provide a blanket waiver for the whole category that we're talking about. So farmers markets and direct marketing farmers by the end of the grant. Um, however, if you do still need or want a printer, you can purchase one from Novidia Group. And actually, I should go back and say, um, with regards to eligibility under this grant, the eligibility is that you are a direct marketing farmer or a farmer's market who has not received equipment through this current grant. So for example, if you have um, older equipment or are working through Mobile Market Plus, you could apply for this grant and get one year of the app license covered um, since it would be new for this grant round. As I mentioned, Novidia Group is now a third party processor, otherwise known as TPP. And essentially that means that they now can directly process SNAP transactions without having to use an outside processor. Um, for any of you that were familiar with the last iteration of this program, that company was WorldPay previously. So if you are currently using WorldPay, this is an opportunity for you to switch over and get lower rates with Novidia Group. Um, Previously, WorldPay had a three-year contract. Um, Novidia Group is now able to offer either an annual license or a month-by-month -month option. There are no early termination fees. Um, importantly, there are no SNAP transaction fees per SNAP transaction. Um, there aren't any setup fees or ACH fees either. And I should have said at the beginning of the presentation, if you have questions, please put them in the chat um, as I go along. I know there will be time at the end for questions as well, but if there's anything that I'm saying that is unclear or confusing, I'm happy to clarify as we go through. Um, this is a picture of what it would look like. This program is what's called a bring your own device model, which means that you would need to have a smart device, which can be either um, Apple iOS based or Android based. And then you will receive one uh, free card reader in order to swipe the cards, one year license for the Total Pay Go app included, um, and then you also receive that printer waiver as I mentioned before. I, this is a breakdown of the transaction rates and we, that we have been able to negotiate. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there is no transaction fee for processing SNAP directly through Novidia Group. Um, you are still able to choose WorldPay as a third-party processor if you wish. Um, their rates are there in the middle. And then on the right, we have been able to negotiate a slightly lower rate with Square than the off-the-shelf version that you could get. And so if you already have Square and are joining the program, we can provide you with a link to sign up for the lower rates. So you don't have to create a new account to access the lower rates. We do have a method for you to shift over to those um, within our application process. This is what the Total Pay Go app looks like. Um, you can see the left hand drawing there or illustration I should say is the login screen. The transaction second in from the left shows you the different types of tender that you can accept. Um, and then on the right hand side, it shows you some of the um, essentially back, back end workings of the app, the different card readers that you can use. And also um, you can see down at the bottom, there's transactions summary and reports too. Um, I should say that there is also an online portal for total pay, which means that you can log in at any given point and download reports on all your sales and transactions. Um, we have, let me see, here's the um, information on the data available and it gives you a little window into what it would look like if you were to log into your portal. Um, you can break it down in a variety of different ways, and you can also export all of your data into CSV or Excel files. So if you're using a different accounting software, such as FreshBooks or QuickBooks, you can um, export the data from this portal and then be able to load it into those accounting systems as well. 
So in order to get started, the first step is to do that eligibility assessment that you can find at marketlink.org slash apply. This is what the page looks like. Um, it's a very short and quick application and we do try to get back to folks within a day or two. So if you do submit an application and don't hear from us in the day or two, please check your spam filter. Unfortunately, we've had some um, responses get stuck there or just send us an email. And I will um, put up the contact at the end of this presentation as well. Um, things to remember for this program as a whole, um, you must have an active email account that you check regularly. If you are applying for multiple markets, each market needs to have its own email address. Um, we, you must have a bank account for the electronic transactions um, and be able to provide that bank account information. Um, you would be surprised, but we have f some folks not understand that they need to provide that information in order for the deposit to happen into their account. Um, you'll be required to submit copies of documentation to USDA in order to become an authorized SNAP retailer. Um, the social security number is required and a license or other documentation. Unless your market is a nonprofit or government sponsored entity, um, there are a few cases in which you wouldn't need to provide that um, level of documentation, but most cases will require a social security card or tax return that shows the social security number as well as a license. Um, and then, of course, collect all of your information to have ready to complete the necessary forms. And as I mentioned before, Tiffany and Lauren can make sure that you have all of this set before you do the application together with them and ensure that you get through the process as smoothly and painlessly as possible. As I mentioned earlier, we do have a purchase program if you don't qualify for the grant. Um, depending on your needs, we can still provide access to those lower rates through um, Novidia Group for no transaction fee for EBT processing and Square for the lower credit and debit rates. Um, we can also work with you to determine which equipment and processing package is best for you or your market. So future developments that we're working on currently is making sure that we can add all federal benefits programs to the app. Um, EWIC is actually already available in a few states across the country. Unfortunately, not in any of the ASAP states currently, but we are working with um, state WIC agencies to try and get that up and running. Um, we are developing an electronic FMMP in conjunction with state agencies as well. So in an effort to move um, forward from the paper-based checks so that there's less physical interaction, uh, we're talking through what that will look like and have been working towards um, getting those pieces developed to have what be known as a mobile wallet in the app. Um, opportunities for gift cards and loyalty programs. And then um, there are some other apps and services that Novidia Group implements that we're working on improving as well. Um, one is called Total Pay Register. If folks are interested in having kind of more of a physical point of sale device that is available as an app. Um, we're working on a customer app in which their benefits would be loaded and then also they would be able to find their local markets and farmers. And then we also have a proposal submitted to USDA to develop a means of accepting online SNAP for farmers and farmers markets. Um, this is just a brief screen about EWIC and e-incentives. Um, as I mentioned, EWIC is currently available in some states and we're looking to expand that as quickly as we can. Um, and there is currently a feature in Total Pay Go that can be used to, um, for electronic incentive programs. Currently, it is SNAP only based. So if you have an incentive program in your area that matches other benefits, that's currently not available, but is in development. Um, and then here are just some guidelines about um, how that would work with regards to um, the program coordinator would have equipment and then all of the farmers would also have equipment as well in order for the program to be implemented uh, across the market. Uh, just to reiterate, the NAFMP mission is to cultivate opportunities for consumers to buy fresh produce from local growers. And MarketLink fits into this as a long-term vision of sustainability for both farmers and markets to increase their customer base, their sales, and ultimately their profitability. Here are social media accounts. If you all could please check them out and be sure to like and follow. We put up information there with regards to the program um, as well as share all of your market stories and information as well. 
And then here is the contact screen. As I mentioned, um, you can schedule an appointment with one of us in order to go through your particular case. Um, there are some frequently asked questions on our website and then all of the various email addresses uh, for myself, Lauren and Tiffany, as well as the general info at email. Um, I should also have added, but I can put in the chat um, as we go through questions. There is also just a few weeks ago, we released a market, look, market link handbook on our website. So that's a handy guide to everything related to market link, um, as well as anything hopefully that you might need to know to be able to get equipment up and running and be able to accept SNAP at your market or by your farm. So with that, I'll turn it over back over to David for any questions. All right, Amy, thank you so much. That was uh, fantastic. Um, I think we can first uh, start with the questions that are in the chat box and I'll just read them out to you so you don't have to look at them. Um, from Lauren Wood, uh, is, there a, is there a requirement for the model of iPhone for this program? So it is currently, it's always evolving. Let me make sure that I tell you the right one. Um, it is iOS 11 plus. So if you have a device that you can run that on, and I believe, um, I think this is actually a typo in this slide. I believe it's Android 24, but I can circle back around. And when I send the presentation to David, I'll confirm those levels as well. Fantastic. Um, from Kimberly, and I think you just answered this. Uh, Will there be a printable PowerPoint of this lecture available? Yes. All right, fantastic. Um, and I'll send that out to everyone as well that's on the, this call. Um, from Julie, uh, if we're a farm selling direct via our online store and we're already using Square as our payment, uh, payment gateway, can a SNAP customer simply use our online store for purchasing from us weekly? Unfortunately, no. Um, due to the USC requirements for accepting online SNAP, it's a bit more complicated than adding it to the current Square interface. And that is the proposal that we have with you pending with USDA now. So we're hoping to be able to move forward on that over the course of the winter. But um, as of right now, it's not, um, it's not what you could think of as a plug-in to go along with Square. So if you're using Square currently, the workaround right now would be to have the Total Pay Go app on that device as well, and then use the Total Pay Go app for processing your SNAP transactions. And then you can, um, on the back end, as I was mentioning before, download that data and then input it into your accounting software. Fantastic. Uh, here's one more, and I can help answer this as well, from Anna. Uh, whose social security number is generally used with the application for markets? Um, so that's really up to the determination of the market. So some markets that have boards governing their operations, they would put the presidents, <laughs> excuse me, um, some would put the market managers. It really just depends on who is most comfortable being um, what USDA calls the responsible party. So, um, and also to be clear, if that person does move on, you can call back to USDA and change the responsible party. You would just have to have someone else put in their um, personal information. So uh, as I always say, I leave it up to the determination of the markets as to who the best person is for that. Great. Um, let's see here. Uh, we have a new one. Uh, we sell our farm products at our garden center, which has its own POS and uses a standalone credit card company. Will I be able to use this for the EBT SNAP or will I have to use the phone app? This is all through the Total Pay Go app on a smart device. So um, it would not be able to, again, be kind of tacked on to your current point of sale device. Um, I would recommend calling your co that company and see if they do, are, if they're able to offer accepting SNAP on that point of sale device, but um, I'm not sure if they would or not. It really varies across the country. Fantastic. All right, any other questions? I have a few myself, but um, let's keep it open for uh, questions from our audience today for right now. Um, you, you can use the chat box or if you want to unmute yourself and ask any questions or open up any discussion here. All right, until then, I'll, I'll ask a few and perhaps it'll um, bring up a few other questions from our crowd today. 
Um, Amy, you said, and let me make sure I caught this correctly, that in this iteration of the program, um, if I had previously received a, a, a free terminal through an earlier iteration of the program, would I be eligible for this iteration's funding? Yes, that's correct. So long as you have not received equipment from us since October of 2019 and you're a farmer's market or direct mar marketing farmer, you are eligible for this grant funding. Awesome. Uh, that's great to hear. Um, and then uh, it's okay if you can't answer this. Do we have any idea how far along um, uh, EFMNP is in, in any of our um, uh, Appalachian grown states? So, um, so our goal is to have a pilot up and running by spring. We're still working hard to find a place to pilot it in the winter so that we can roll it out in the spring of next year. Um, with <laughs> this year being crazy and always shapes and forms, I can't promise any deadlines, but that is our hope to be able to um, get it up and going as early as possible in time for the 2021 season. Great. And uh, here's a question from Julie. Um, just to confirm, and, and Julia, I can unmute you if, if we don't fully capture this. Um, if using the app, is our phone the only hardware needed for us to accept SNAP? Yes, your, I well, I would say your smart device and the card reader that we'll provide. So you can technically actually type in the card without using the card reader, but those are the two key pieces of equipment is the device and then you have the card reader plugged into it. Julie, hopefully that answers your question. Um, and I have one more myself. I know that we have a few farmers markets who aren't currently set up to accept FMNP vouchers or haven't been approved to accept FMNP vouchers. Um, is there a process, process for these markets to start accepting uh, the current paper voucher system? That is a great question and it actually depends on the state. So if there are specific markets, um, feel free to send them along to me and I can track down what the process would be in each of the states. Um, I'm sure they know this or have already gone this route, but usually it's up to the state administrator to determine, um, well, not usually always. So um, across the farmer's market nutrition programs, the way that it works is that each state submits their state plan to USDA for approval. And in that state plan, it has how they will bring on new markets, whether they'll bring on new markets and what that process is. So um, since NAFMP is comprised of all of those member states, we can certainly track down what the process is in any given state, as well as directly connect those markets with whomever the best point of contact is. And one more from Julie. Um, can we use our existing Square Car Reader along with the app for accepting SNAP sales? Um, so the reader that we provide is specific for SNAP sales and it is distinct from any reader that you may have now. Uh, hopefully that clarifies. So um, there is a way that you can, if you're using Square, for example, there is a way that you can have um, both the Square reader and our reader connected at the same time. Um, but you do have to use different readers, unfortunately, at this point in time. We are working to fix that, but um, unfortunately haven't solved that particular challenge yet. Um, and then I see the last one too, or the mobile market plus, will mobile market plus be phased out so that we'll no longer operate anytime soon? Um, yes, mobile market plus is in the process of being phased out. So if you haven't switched to total pay go yet, I suggest you do that as soon as you are able. Um, it should be a fairly straightforward switch. And then also um, actually let me add that link while we're talking. The um, handbook that I mentioned has step-by-step -step for switching from Mobile Market Plus to Total Pay Go. Um, and then the last question, is there a time frame deadline for this grant for receiving free equipment? Um, in essence, we are able to provide free equipment so long as there is funding. So um, at the present time, we are not in danger of running out of funding, um, but I would recommend that you get your application in earlier rather than later. And here is the, I'll put it in the chat, the link to the handbook that's online and has all the information that you hopefully will need. Excellent. All right. Any uh, final thoughts or questions from our audience? Uh, last chance here. A uh, few more here. Uh, oops, <laughs> coming in fast now. Um, let's see here. 
we have uh, how does SNAP work in relation to paying the farm for the actual produce that they sell? I'm not sure if I understand the question, but um, if you are, I can give you maybe a, a couple examples that would hope to illustrate it. So if you're at the farmer's market, uh, a customer comes up with their EBT card, and if you're authorized, then you'll have the reader and you can select and swipe their EBT card for the amount of the purchase that they wanna make, and then you hand them their produce. Um, then the amount is deposited from the USDA's federal account to your bank account directly. So you would see, um, you know, for example, if it was a SNAP purchase of $20, within two business days, that $20 will be in your bank account. Um, similarly, at a farm stand, same idea. If a customer comes up, you would just be able to accept their EBT card via your device. All right. Uh, our nonprofits are, uh, excuse me, our nonprofit local food hubs eligible for equipment or is it strictly for farmers markets and farms selling direct to consumers? The grant is for farmers markets and farms, direct marketing farmers. However, um, we essentially we should talk to make sure that you to see if you are eligible or not as a nonprofit local food hub. Um, for example, if you are growing some of your own produce, then you would qualify under the direct marketing farm aspect, even if you're aggregating others' produce. Um, and then similarly, or if you aren't eligible, we can still help you get the equipment and become SNAP, SNAP authorized. So we do help folks with that SNAP authorization regardless of whether they are um, eligible for the grant. That's part of the technical assistance and training piece that USDA has funded. Um, and another scenario that I heard coming into this webinar, we have a few farms who operate a, a small farm store in a retail space. So they're selling their own products, but also the products of others. Um, would they be eligible? And would that be, would you rather they apply as a farm or a farmer's market? That's a great question. And that's the beauty of this program is that they would qualify for getting free equipment based on being a direct marketing farmer. And then they can accept SNAP for any of the products in their store that qualify. So even if they're aggregating from other farms, since all of those foods, I would assume are SNAP eligible, they could accept SNAP for any of them, but then they would qualify for the free equipment since they are selling their own produce as a direct marketing farmer. Excellent. All right, that might be everything. Any final questions, everyone? All right, I think that's it. Uh, Amy, uh, thank you so much for joining us today. That was an excellent presentation. Um, quite a few of our attendees asked that I share their contact information with you based on the registration. So I will pass those along. Um, again, thank you for joining us. Um, send over your PowerPoint, any other uh, needed resources, and I'll send this out to our uh, registrants. And with that, I think we can wrap this up. Thanks so much, everyone, for joining us, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks, everyone. Take care. Have a good one.